Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. You have loaded email addresses in object type variable. Now you want to send email to each of the address you have in object type variable. Which task will you use to loop through and send emails one by one? By asking this question, what they want to understand? They want to understand you are expert and in using the object type variable and then you are expert by using the for each loop container and uh, you are expert to understand in which scenario do you need to use even object type variable and variables in SSIS. So let's get to the SSDT and I will show you why and where and how we will be using this one. So first of all we need to read the addresses in the object type variable. So we can use execute SQL task and then I can make a connection to the database where our addresses are. I'm not going to perform the entire task, but I'm just going to give you a quick way to do it. So you will see the, how the package will look like and you understand the concept. Uh, I, I, I'm going to make this uh, video over, a long video, and then uh, you can use that one for your learning process. But this is for interview, so uh, that's, uh, I'm going to keep it uh, small. So you have the connection manager here. Now you are going to select, uh, let's say you have a table, whatever you have. And then you are going to write a select query, select a distinct email addresses from DBO my table. So this is going to return us a set of email that can be only one email that can be maybe hundred or thousand the number of records you have in the uh, table. So click OK. Now we set a full result set and the full result set and then finally we have to map that to the result set. Here we will be creating an object type variable. An object type variable is a ADO record set type variable that I can hold a table in the memory. So we can name this one object type variable email object. Now here type we have to select object. That's how you will create the object type variable. Click OK and put it zero here the execute SQL task can only accept one object type variable even the add button is there and it let you add it but you, that's not really true. So remove this one. Okay. So now we read all those records or email addresses in the object type variable. The next part is the reading from the object and sending the email. So we have to use some container. In this case we will be using for each loop container. Connect to the your executable that's a, a execute SQL task go to the for each loop go to collections and here we have right now we have a for each file enumerator let's change this one to the for each ADO enumerator that's what we are going to use to read the object type variable and uh, uh, we will read one record at a time and then select the object type variable now when it is going to loop through this object type variable or table that's in the memory it will save one record at a time. So we have to go to the variable and create a new variable. We can call it email address. And this is going to be string type. And this is index zero because that's the uh, only column we have it. If we have more columns then the value, let's say we have a name or uh, any other columns then uh, we can use that one in the different variable and index will be one and keep going if we have multiple columns so hit ok the last part is uh, using uh, this variable email address uh, and then we can use uh, in send mail task uh, we can use that variable in send mail task we can uh, use in um, from to wherever we want it in this case it will be we will be sending this uh, to the um, person that we read the email address for and in the from that we can hard code it we can use a variable so to use the variables we can you go to expressions and then here we have um, cc line bcc line and we have all to and from so we can use that two line so in this case we will be using that variable now uh, email address and that's uh, where it will be sending email and uh, we can use from and we can provide our email or variable if we have whatever we want to. So and we can also build the complete uh, email by using uh, whether we have subject, we have a, um, 
name we we can uh, use the email message source message uh, message source is uh, the place uh, where you can build the entire email uh, and uh, use that one and i use a uh, different variable different parameters can be used and uh, the email can be in put in a good format so that email will be going to your users okay so you hit okay you cancel right now we don't care and uh, that's one way to do it if somebody asks you okay the, so you got the email addresses and uh, now we want to send the email in the html format so html are pretty format that um, you know have tags and all those kind of things and we see that emails coming in our um, yahoo and uh, you know they're properly formatted their font sizes are different and uh, they have different fonts uh, pretty one and uh, if we want to send uh, the uh, email in html format send mail task can do it so what we have to do we can use a script task and uh, then uh, use these variables uh, there and uh, send the email in a html format Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next, next video.